Okay, so if you are just starting out with pole dancing, then you might be like, all right, what did I get myself into? Or what should I expect? So we're going to talk about some of those things. So the number one thing that you're going to feel is, ouch. <laughs> Your body is going to be super sore, maybe a little bit stiff. And that's very normal. Your body is building like muscle and strength. So when that happens, the only thing you want to do is just give yourself breaks. Don't just keep pushing if your body is really tired. If you're in class and your body feels really tired, take a break. Maybe take a day off from going to class. Try to get massages. Try to sit in a sauna or sit in a hot bath. You just want to keep your muscles really warm and activated. Maybe do light stretching or like light, moderate exercise between really, really intense classes. And just try to build your strength and not just rush into things. Because if you do that, you'll get injured. So just take your time and just know that it's going to happen. You might be in a constant state of soreness for a while. But after a while, <laughs> your body will get used to it and things won't hurt as bad anymore. When you first learn to move, Things hurt a lot, but after a while, that move won't hurt. But then when you learn something new, that might hurt. So you just got to get used to it. The next thing is bruises. I just had a bruise heel. All under here was like purple and like black and it looked really bad. But it healed in about four days. Before I could even film this video, the bruises were gone. But also I have like this dry patch of skin from where I also got a pole burn which we'll talk about in a second, but you might look like a Dalmatian. Um, common places to get the bruises are like here when you're doing bicep grips or the top of the foot is common, inside your knees, inside your thighs, really anywhere you can bang your body into the pole or um, anywhere where you're squeezing really, really tight. So one, you're going to just have to get used to it like that's going to happen, but two, just body awareness and like taking your time so that you're not just throwing your body into the pole. But as you build your strength and you have more control over where your body is going, you're less likely to bang it around. So it's just one of those things in the beginning, you might get a lot more of it than you do as you start to advance. So then, yeah, pole burns. It's kind of like a rug burn, like a friction burn, just like your body rubbing against the pole. And sometimes your skin can get kind of like leathery, snaky, like that's what I've got going on here from where I got this pole burn. And it it feels kind of ugh, but <laughs> it might get a callus there. I don't know. I don't think this one was that bad, but if I kept practicing that, it might like get a tough patch of skin right there. Again, that's just something that happens. You just have to be careful with your body. And then lastly, calluses. Oh my gosh, right along here. People tend to get calluses really bad. Mine come and go really quickly. So yeah, but sometimes they'll they'll peel really bad. That again is normal. You can file it. Don't pick it. Don't go crazy. You don't want your hands to go raw, but just try not to squeeze so tight or don't rely heavily on gripping aids. Um, they make your life easier sometimes, but they can also make things harder. I would say practice it without the grip first. And then once you get a feeling of it, then you can start adding grip or just put grip in places where you know you're going to sweat a lot on your body. But if you need to do anything flowy, you don't want to have too much grip on your hands or on your body. You'll just get stuck on the pole. So just trust yourself. So now let's talk about the good things that are going to happen from pole dancing. So number one, you are going to get so much stronger just inside and out. You'll find that like your power increases, your strength, your stamina. Um, you're going to get a lot of muscle definition. You'll get muscles in places you didn't know you could get muscles. Like for me, one place that always pops out first, uh, first is like right here, this muscle right here. <laughs> and I always feel like a bodybuilder, like, oh my God, why am I so brolic? Like if you look on my Instagram, is it on my poll Instagram? I don't know. I'll try to post it maybe to my stories or something, but this muscle just pops out. I look like a female wrestler. It's crazy from certain angles. Um, but yeah, um, weight loss, um, toning, what else? Body confidence. Like I always say it's a really positive body positive community. So people will always be encouraging you no matter what you look like, but just, 
lifting your own body weight, having that kind of confidence and that kind of strength just does something to your personality. Like you feel really good about yourself. Also, starting like a fitness journey and, and building your strength and actually being able to see it and feel it, I think does something to your psyche. It makes you feel a lot stronger. Also your flexibility, because you're going to be stretching and things like that. Um, you're going to get a lot more flexible. So we all know that's good. Your bones are going to get stronger. Your joints can get stronger, even though you need to be careful because like I have kind of like, weak joints so you do want to take supplements and things like that if you need to because it can also be like really taxing on your joints um some of the grips like the push pulls and stuff like that so it'll strengthen you but you still need to be careful um also just like coordination and balance gets better because you're doing more dance classes and just things to deal with timing so you'll get better at that and yeah. Oh, you'll sleep a lot better because when I work out really hard, I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> um, And I think it just, for me, going to the gym got easier once I started pole dancing because I wanted to get stronger so that I could do more tricks. So I think it kind of encourages you to try other things. So I think all around, it just kind of helps you out, like internally, externally. You'll make friends <laughs> that have common interests. It's really cool. So there are positives and there are some downsides, but to me, the positives outweigh the negative.